Hi guys. Gonna do a different kind of video this time letting you guys know the difference between a standard HDMI cable and a Category 2 cable. The Category 2 cable is gonna be the one with the gold plug here and white HDMI logo. Standard is gonna be the black right here. Uh, that's just how mine looks. Got it at Walmart. The Philips cable is the one you're gonna see on the left here. It's a, the better of the two. Uh, you get superior picture and sound quality and better graphics and gaming uh, or sound if you're gaming with it I found this out recently and was just amazed or just totally blown away by the how much better the games looked and sounded and Blu-ray movies now I can play in full screen in uh, 1080i because that's all my TV accepts now when read the manual recently and uh, that paid off but anyways you can get a Category 2 cable at an affordable price. MediaBridge makes them for, for you can, they make them for the PS3, and you can get the that cable for nine or twelve dollars on Amazon.com. But standard HDMI cable just really doesn't cut it. I mean, after playing games on it, I mean, the, there was a lot of jagged edges and. The colors were came in pretty good uh, in a lot of the games I played in the movies. Uh, I didn't really play any movies on the PS3, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if you decide to go to the Category 2 cable to watch Blu-ray movies or game with it. You can get it at an affordable price on Amazon and Newegg.com, the Category 2 cable that is, as well as, you know, a standard def, or standard HDMI cable. I actually paid I think it was 50 for the Philips right here uh, a few years ago and this one just happened to be laying around so I found it and used it um, but there's a lot of different companies that make the cables out there and I'm sure most of you know that so just uh, choose wisely <laughs> it, especially if it's going to be expensive I went to Best Buy the other day and actually looked at some of the prices on them and uh, some of the THX certified ones fat high speed 160 hertz or 120 hertz uh, cables run about from 60 to 130 dollars there, which is a very expensive, in my opinion. And anybody that buys that is very serious about gaming uh, or watching movies or you know listening to super audio CDs or DVD audio CDs the way they are meant to be heard. Um, so yeah. <coughs> Good news is I still have the job. I'll be starting my second week there on Monday. Not the best job, but hey, it's money coming in. I don't mind working. It's hard work, but hey, we all got to do something I don't like in life. And I'm enjoying the uh, the management there and the people there. It's really easy going. Uh, it is fast paced, but uh, I will be getting a paycheck on Friday, so we'll see. Uh, I should have good amount of money left over after I put some of the savings and pay bills uh, and I'll get a few things and show them off here on the channel probably won't see some any uh, of the discussion videos for a little while I had to give back my uh, my mic to the person I, I got it from It's, uh, but I should get it back shortly they, they need to buy a new mic so yeah uh, nothing but great news here guys I'm happy happier than I've ever been in the past couple of years still do enjoy making videos here guys so don't think I'm leaving just uh, been working real hard so if you guys have any questions about these cables I'm uh, feel free to ask I'm not really up to the technical uh, stuff on them yet but when I do I'll be able to answer those kinds of questions and that should be really really soon so thanks for watching have a good one guys